Y'all didn't think we would come back this fast, huh? We back at it again. Like bad habit. Yeah. Where you think we are now? Eu vou falar. Eu vou falar português. É de um país que fala português. E eu, meu irmão, estamos aqui. <risos> Falando rápido. Tu conhece Falando um rápido. <risos> tu conhece um município chamado Macaé? É eu falo muito. Não, tu consegue não me fazer um pizza, é dinheiro, tu tem? Eu preciso de 20 reais. Eu preciso de 20 reais pra pegar um ônibus. Você tem pra me prestar? Eu não, não tenho. Ah, eu que joguei melhor. Sim, estamos aqui no Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. You feel me? So that's where we at right now. Laranjeiras. Coming to you live. We staying in Laranjeiras right now. We're in Laranjeiras. Laranjeiras besides Santa Teresa. A known place where a lot of tourists go to go look at the uh, steps where Snoop Dogg and Pharrell made their song. Oh, 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 oh. That's right next door. Actually, behind this building, I'll show you right here. You'll see the mountains. Uh, right there. See the mountains? Over there, somewhere is... Oh, let's go look over here. Over there, somewhere is... Um, yeah, something popping over here. You know what I'm saying? So this is where me and Michelle... Me and Michelle wanted to go the first time when we went to Mexico City instead because... They didn't let us in. They had their entry requirements unlocked. This time it was a breeze. You know what I'm saying? We had to work uh, a little magic real quick, but we got through. So uh, we here. This was the spot that we were so anxious to come to because it just got a lot of flavor here. You know what I mean? Brazilians are real cool people. From what I heard and what I see, what I seen on like YouTube and places like that, they yeah, say they Brazil's the spot. So they be vibing on it. Day one out here, we just touched down maybe about three hours ago. Ate some good food already. Me and Broski's out here. Here, you want to chop it up for him with, with him a little bit? I know y'all haven't seen me in a minute, but we back. Been editing the videos for y'all. Gonna be editing these videos. You already know how it is. Hopefully, we got something in store Hopefully. for y'all. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't be hoping, y'all. Hope allows failure. You're supposed to declare we're gonna have some heat. Look we're at gonna the... bring some fire. We just left Mexico not even three months ago. Right. Still got Mexican videos coming out. Y'all still getting slapped with Mexico still videos. still getting slapped with them. You hear me? Why we out here? So, we're gonna show y'all what it is out here. We're gonna get more content. Muito beleza. Muito vigio. Falando português. Look at the view. Like, why don't you want to see this? <laughs> Who don't want to come out here and see that? They got some. Oh, it's just a park. Yeah, it's a park. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? We really submerged ourselves in the culture of the Brazilians. We love the vibe. You know, the music. We've been listening to the music, the rap uh, that they got. Yeah, the rap is fire. Fire. Me and Tyler, we listen to that more than American music now because American music, all they want to do is talk about shooting and killing and doing all that stuff. Whereas. It looks like we can walk over here like it's a trail in the back. Mm hmm. Where they got a little playground for families and stuff like that to come out to. Yeah. No, no churros. They got popcorn. Oh, for real? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know Brazilians make churros. The thing about this country is so cool. How? Look at the uh, coconuts. <laughs> this country is so cool because there's so so much of a variety and a mixture of people like. You wouldn't even you, expect You them. don't know, like, everybody looks different. Literally, everybody looks like they're from somebody somewhere else. Um, but people, they just have a good time, man. Good, good vibes, good culture. And we're kind of like something like in the Amazon or something. We might find some monkeys or something like that. <laughs> Look, people just chilling. It's like an Amazon type of feel. Um, you see the mountains back there. I have a friend of mine that I've been kicking it with. She lives over here in the uh, Santa, Santa Teresa. Teresa. So that's the favela, the hood. Right there. She lives in the favela. <laughs> so we're gonna be, bro. Y'all, y'all don't even know. Y'all thought, have some stuff to bro. I, I thought we was coming to y'all hard with the, with the, with the Mexico videos. This is what I've been waiting for. So we got some shit in store for y'all. 
beautiful. Look up Rio de Janeiro if y'all don't know about Rio de Janeiro. Beautiful. This is I'm talking about the food. I'm talking about the acai. I'm talking about the ambiance of like the rainforest. They got they got monkeys out here too somewhere. They have monkeys out here too. Look, you feel how cool it feels? Mm -hmm. I don't even want to talk loud. <laughs> um. That muito bom. Huh? I was gonna say that shit. <laughs> muito bom. Un sentido bom. Look at everybody just hanging out, chilling. Good vibes. Got the fish. Look, they got some big ass goldfish. Look at them goldfish. The little waterfall and everything too. The vibes. Straight vibing. The vibe is immaculate. It's immaculate. And the great thing is, I'm here with my broski. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know where we at, where we're going. We're just exploring. We're getting into something new. Exploring mm -hmm. the unknown. Uh, look at the aloe. I think that's aloe plants. Mm -hmm. Aloe vera. You hear that? Yeah, it is. Took us 21 hours to get here. We had a nine hour flight after a hour flight to Atlanta. It nine hour flight. Bad, it was bad. It, it wasn't that bad for me. Try sleeping erect. <laughs> Try sleeping erect for a whole fucking 24 hours. I mean, uh, 20, I mean, nine hours straight. And then having to get off wait. We had to wait in Atlanta for like five hours. Then we had to. Yeah, that was the bad part. Wait in wait. Sao Paulo. I was fine with that because I get to walk around and shit, you know? I was cool with that. Let's try to hear if we could, we could hear the monkeys. If there are monkeys here. So Sarah's gonna help us out. She's gonna show us around. She's cool peoples. We've been chopping it up for quite a bit. She's gonna help us. You can see, what was that? Sound like a monkey. <clears throat> they got some different animals out here. Um, weather's good. It's It's fall for them. So... It's opposite. It's like when we have winter, it's their summer. Our winter is their summer and their winter is our summer. So they have fall. Come over here. I don't know what that was. I was gonna well that's look like it's in the like a street that it just Yeah. Um our winter is their summer and their summer is our winter, whatever, you know what I mean. Yeah, Look, we, we don't even, you don't equator. even be seeing people in here. He's just chilling right there. Yeah, we below the equator, so everything's flip-flop. Um, right now, it feels good. You see, I got my beater on. I am sweating a little bit. Not nothing, nothing crazy, but um, it feels good out here. Yo, they weren't playing when they was talking about these damn hills, though. <laughs> These stairs, it's a force. It's the same way yeah, it is. So we're going down here. It's Again, a nice park, we don't know where we at. We got plenty of dimes for y'all to see. Because everybody knows when they know about Brazil and especially Rio. The bundau. They know the bundau is in effect. So, you know, y'all didn't think we knew that much Portuguese, huh? We know a little bit of Portuguese. We learning. We getting better at it. So we come out here. I think based on my research and everything like that, I think Brazil is one of the places that I would want to <laughs> live. Yes. <laughs> buy a place, live, have a spot out here. That way we can um you know we can always come over here, we can always have uh a place to go and it's far enough to make a difference. Uh, hopefully sometime in the near future we'll have a private jet so we ain't got to take <laughs> a 21 hour trip We can cut it down to like maybe 10 12. They got the swans out Yep, so right now usually what we like to do or what I like to do on the first day is Come and and just explore get familiar with get the familiar area. with the areas just walk around aimlessly so that we can uh, so that we can just check the vibes and check the areas and stuff and then we'll go to the areas that we wanted to go and visit today's Friday 
So this is what a Friday afternoon looks like. It's about four o'clock right now, early evening. What I like about Brazil is it's like 50-50. So 50% of the country is Afro-Brazilians. 50% is, man, they just have so many different races. They have Asians here. They have um, all different, you know, because this was a hot spot and it was a, it was a, it was a lot of tourism coming here since like the 1800s or whatever. Um, so you got Brazilians with, you know, a lot of Brazilians have colored eyes. A lot of Brazilians have... Uh, that's kind of dope how they got the sandbox, like the sand thing that's on the back. You know, a lot of Brazilians have color eyes. They have darker skin, caramel skin. Like they have a, a, a very diverse, very, very diverse uh, population. And another thing that I like about Brazilians is that they actually just like like to have fun they have like an uh, uh they have like a vibe to them that's like very just notice, very just notice everybody we're passing they're not staring at the camera like if y'all watch our columbia videos i think you've seen people staring at us and looking and all of that like oh camera people don't sweat cameras out here they're chilling yeah. so you know as far as that safe you know safety goes it's a pretty safe country from what I heard, of course, this is my first time here, so I gotta see for myself. I'll let y'all know if my opinion changes yeah, before there, I there leave. There are areas you gotta be careful, in, but that's yeah. like with any country or state or city. Right. You always gotta be careful in some areas. Right. Just don't be flaunting, don't be reckless. Right. Should be good. I mean, you just take the same precautions as you would take back home, because I know I grew up not in a super rough, come on, let's go this way. Not in a super rough area, but in a city that was very very rough you could say i mean a lot of people they say be careful be careful because they think america is not what it is and there's a lot of shit going on in america too just like it is everywhere else but when i do come out the country i do always feel a different vibe i feel like it's more positive you know in america we got a lot to be thankful for but nobody really shows appreciation for what they got everybody takes things for granted uh, whereas here, people actually look at those small values and those small aspects of life uh, to be appreciated for and show appreciation and care about one another. It's pretty lit, so. Yeah, you know, it's very tropical looking. I like that. Our first time over the equator. This is the farthest we've been from home. Yep. What's up? This is about to be home away from home. <laughs> you feel me? Home away from home. Coming soon. We're going to have a spitty out here that we can come. We can rest our heads. We can call home. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. But, I mean, man, we should have... I'll probably pop some pictures from in the airplane. But there is so many buildings here. Like, just a whole bunch of structures. Not only the buildings. You got good people. Right. Beautiful people. Yeah. Bomb yeah. The beach and the city in one. You got the yeah. beach and the city. Along with the mountains and the jungle. Yeah. The Amazon. The they forest. They got everything. They got everything. Forest, man. It's like everything here. You know? Look at that. Look at that, that's beautiful right there. Mm. Wow. Look at that, look how high that is. That gotta be the thumbnail or something. Right there, boom. Like this. You're kinda dark in it though. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just strolling around. So, Brazilian currency is in reais. It's spelled R-R-E-I-S. <laughs> but, in Portuguese you don't pronounce the R. So you say it like, hey eyes. The R sound like an H. So hey eyes is like, uh, one, one USD is like $4.50. Uh, $4.50 in hey eyes. So 450 in hey eyes is one USD. Um, so far, like we just had breakfast this morning. 
Well, it wasn't breakfast. We just had we just had like lunch this uh this this afternoon, and that came up with me and Tyler came out to 50 Hay Eyes. So we spent about twenty dollars on lunch. No, fifty. Thought it was 50 like, Hay Eyes. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One is like five of ours, so it was like ten. Ten for, for two plates. Yeah. And they were Look at me not knowing my math. Yeah, ten dollars. I'm they sorry were, about that. Self served. You could plop how much you want on your plate. Um, then you take that plate and you weigh the plate and you pay you pay it based on the weight. So my plate was 22 hay eyes. Tyler's was 20 hay eyes, and that equates to that equates to like just under five dollars each plate. Each plate. Huh? Yeah. It's a busy city. A lot of cars. A lot of people. I gotta look up the population. I looked up the population before, but I wanna make sure I give you guys the right figure. But it's a big city. Uh, not, as big, not as big as Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is like a business city compared to here. It's more of a chill vibe. It's more of a tropical, laid back. You know, you can enjoy yourself here and it's not all about work as they say Sao Paulo is. <clears throat> So I wonder if we're going because I know the Lapa district is not too far from uh, Santa Teresa. And I think we're going away from Santa Teresa right now. I don't know really, we're just walking. <laughs> and I have phone service so I could text. I could text and stuff like that, but I cannot, um, I cannot like order Uber and use certain apps and stuff like that. I can't do because because uh, it just doesn't work like that. So we're gonna have to go to one of their phone companies. They have Tigo, they have v, uh, Vivo, um, Claro, and some of those services that we can get a sim we can attach the sim and then i'll be able to use my extra services like my internet instagram uber and all of that stuff whatsapp to communicate and i think it's pretty cheap too so um so right now if we were to get lost i really wouldn't know how to get back home because <laughs> we can't use maps or anything and right now we're not close to the beach we're a little bit away from the beach I think the beach is about a 20 minute drive from here maybe. Not, not Botafogo. Botafogo really isn't a beach though because, I mean it's a beach but nobody uses it because it says dirty water. Whereas they got uh, Le May, they got um, Le Blanc, Copacabana, uh, which uh, uh, most people are here because that's where most of the tourists stay. But you know, we like to stay where the locals stay so we ain't staying over there. We staying in Laranjadas right now. And um, we, 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 we might extend our stay where we're staying at. I only got it for five days just because I didn't really know the area too well. So I wanted to check it out before I just book my whole trip in this one area. So once we get familiar with where we are, I'll be able to uh, change that or keep it. So. See, it's a busy city, everybody walking. So how does it feel, Tyler? How does it feel to be out again, out and about again? I like it, you know? It's always an experience going out the country. Especially when you're so far. This is the farthest I've ever been. Hold on, there's a siren coming by. But, uh, yeah, you it's know. Like the Empire Ways vlogging. Right, <laughs> yeah, the sound of the alarm. Tyler's just the editor. He's not the right. camera holder. I think he's... I'll, I'll do that. But I don't know how to yeah. put it up. So, you said what now? That it's always an experience going out the country. Something different. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we in a whole new territory, a whole new language. Mm -hmm. We're figuring that out as we go. Right. You know, that's, that's how better can it get? You know, we experiencing nothing but new. Nothing's planned at all. We don't have anything planned. We just don't. Sarah just found out two days ago that I was getting here. Uh, even though we've talked, we've been talking for some months. Y'all might see her on the vlogs too. Might, probably will see her because she's gonna be helping us out. 
with the language barrier because we don't know a lot but i mean but i know enough to understand but i just can't relay like the guy in the beginning <laughs> what he was spitting i don't know what he was saying i still don't oh, know i was on the... was about <laughs> that's him right there oh yeah <laughs> um yeah i don't know what he was saying no i knew what he was saying he was saying that he Picture? wanted Some. he was like Some. <laughs> he, he didn't say photo he said send him or give him some money or something like that he needed like 20 AIs. so i don't know what he was what he was talking about for real for real but you know he'll find his way this is his home he's seen us with the camera and seen opportunity so you gotta just look out man that's all you know a lot of people they think you know you just gotta be on your p's and q's you just gotta have street smart be looking around um, making sure you know you, you hold your ground and you you, you keep your, your head and your chest up that way people can't catch you lacking and even though just be ready for any situation you feel me so you let these people pass real quick but yeah man it's beautiful out here man it's, it's, it's nice weather Valio it's nice weather tight ass sidewalks um nice weather right territory so we want to respect you know the country if y'all know they have places they say they call them mojo m-o-r-r-o -R -R -O. in spanish it will, it will sound like morro but it's mojo because they don't remember they don't pronounce them r's like an R supposed to be pronounced. So they have different mojos, which is like the neighborhoods on the mountains. And some people know them as favelas. So favelas is what's considered like the hood, Brazilian hoods where the lower class people live. This dude got a whole plan on him. Um, where the lower class lives or whatever. And to me, sometimes those neighborhoods is, is, is they, they have the best culture, man. They have the best, the best um, hmm, outlook on life because life is pretty simple. It does not take a lot to have a great life, to be honest. Um, I think in the U.S. we overdo a lot of things. I don't think we, uh, we, we put more attention. That smells bomb. We put more attention on... Um, the materials and stuff like that to determine and depict what kind of lifestyle we have if we have a good life or a bad life whereas life really doesn't take that much it's only your perspective on it you feel me so these people might not have all the materials that we have cars nice houses jewelry um an abundance of money and things like that they might not have that but they have what i don't see much in the u.s which is culture true culture true Happiness. true meaning of life they have a great understanding of life that's why they have smiles on their face they are willing to feed you before they feed themselves again i'm not talking about brazil right now because it's my first time in brazil my first day in brazil so i'll give you that outlook later on but this is what I feel when I go out of country, out of, out of the country, you know, and, and it's just a beautiful thing. So, yeah, stay tuned. I just was giving you all a quick intro to Brazil. Uh, I think this is going to be a good series because there's just plenty to do out here. Plenty to see out here. Like, look at the mountains. See the mountains back there? I don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but it's just beautiful, man. So... We're just, we just walked a little small sector. There's definitely way more to see than this. And, um, you know, stay tuned. So right now I'm gonna head back to the house and see what we're gonna do from here and where we're gonna go. Probably go out tonight or something. Uh, uh, we'll probably go out tonight. I think they was waving at the camera, but I don't know. I think they thought that the camera was the other way. 
because the camera was like this. But they did wait. Though. And then, did and they then, get, did they see it? No, uh, no, because it was on me. So they waved, but I, I, I didn't know if they was waving at me or somebody else. I probably should have stopped and interacted with them a little bit, but there's gonna be a lot of other people. They just kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go uh, back home, figure out what the game plan is. It's Friday, so they probably got some shit jumping off out here. Oh, here's where the food's at. Yeah. We need to come back here. Yeah, it's my food too. So yep, intro to real. We'll holla back at y'all. Wow. Wow.